bei den aktuellen äh, Zinsen ist das absolut äh, unsinnig, da zu sparen. Ja, jeder für sich privat sucht natürlich schon den Vorteil, den es halt gerade gibt. Und das sind natürlich günstige Finanzierungen. Zufrieden wäre ich dann, wenn, wenn in Europa eine bessere Stabilität äh, vorhanden wäre für alle Länder. Die gibt es nicht. Es ist dermaßen ein Desaster, äh, wie wir es in Europa noch nie erlebt haben. The ECB's key interest rate is lower than ever. A lot of people are annoyed by this and doubt whether it's really necessary. We spoke to people on the streets to find out the questions being asked. Our experts at the ECB in Frankfurt talked these questions over and came up with some clear answers. Ich verstehe nicht, warum die EZB die Zinsen dauerhaft so niedrig hält. To answer this, we need to understand the ECB's objectives. These are mainly to keep prices stable in the euro area as a whole. Prices should not increase too slowly or too quickly. Preferably at just below 2% per year. But for a long time, prices in the euro area have only been rising very slowly. This is because the economy in Europe is growing at a weak rate. So, to meet its objective, the ECB needs to stimulate the economy. To do this, it uses various instruments, such as the key interest rate. The ECB sets the key interest rate, i.e. the price at which banks can borrow money from the ECB. If the key interest rate is low, banks can borrow money cheaply, as they hardly have to pay any interest. Because of this, banks can also lend money to their customers at low rates. This means that customers can take out cheap loans, for example to buy a new car or a house. Car manufacturers and construction firms then also make more money. Their income rises and they can pay higher wages. They can also hire more people. These people then also have more money and can buy more. This gets the economy going. A low key interest rate also has an effect on people's savings. It means that savers will not earn much interest on the money they put in the bank. This may annoy savers and many may think it's not worth saving. But people who would rather spend their money also boost the economy. So by keeping the key interest rate low, the ECB is trying to stimulate the economy and keep prices stable in the euro area. Ja, mich würde interessieren, wie lange die Zinspolitik, die aktuelle, noch so fortgeführt wird und äh, wann es hier mit einer Trendwende, wann, wann es damit zu rechnen wäre. Let's go back to the end of our last explanation. Once the economy is stimulated and the demand for its products has grown, companies will want to increase their prices. To ensure that prices don't increase too quickly, the ECB will once again step in, fulfilling its mandate to keep prices stable throughout the euro area. As soon as the economy is doing well and prices are rising, the ECB will increase the key interest rate again. So, low interest rates today help us lay the foundations for higher interest rates tomorrow.